Hello, and welcome to everyone listening today. I'm Dennis Ranking in the Performance Solutions Engineering Group, and I'm a Customer Product Support Engineer within that group. Today I will be presenting to you the Rolls-Royce Fuel Controls Technical Issues. This slide is Rolls-Royce publications released from January 1, 2015 through August 31, 2015. In the first column, you will see the engine OEM that the publication applies to. The first two publications, highlighted in green, apply to all engine OEMs, this being Pratt & Whitney, Rolls-Royce, and LTS 101. Then, from there on, moving down the list, each publication applies only to Rolls-Royce controls. In columns 4, 5, and 6, you will find the publication number, the description of the subject, and the release date. Please note, an asterisk indicates there is a dedicated presentation slide on that subject. I will now give you a few seconds to review the list before going to the next slide. This slide is a listing of the projected publications that you can expect to see released by year end. There is a dedicated slide in the following presentation for each of these subjects. This SIL is for the drive body elastic lock nut part number 2529547 and 2537845 installed on Pratt & Whitney, Rolls-Royce, and LTS 101 fuel controls. The nylon ID of some nuts was found to be too small, causing an interference fit, making it impossible to install the nut by hand onto the spline shaft. The detailed procedure for pre-threading that nut is within this fill. As a long-term fix, engineering changes to drawings are in a queue to be completed at a later date. Those drawing changes will include a pre-threading procedure to be completed by the part supplier. This is not a new subject to those who were at HOC 2015. For those of you who did not attend the technical presentation in March, let me review. In 2013, there was an increase of drive bearing failures being reported by the field. After an investigation, the following short-term actions were taken. Service Bulletins GT73372 for the M250 engine and GT73380 for the C300 engine were released. These bulletins changed replacement intervals to 1,200 hours on the power turbine governor drive bearings. The service bulletins were re repetitive until canceled. There is no change in part numbers. It is a like part replacement. 2543734 re part replaced with the same, but a new 2543734 part. The ID plate marking is B1, B2, and etc. even after overhaul. Unfortunately, this bulletin is not covered under Honeywell warranty. On a brighter note for operators, Rolls-Royce and Honeywell have agreed to the allowance of a technical variation from a 2,000-hour TBO to a 2,400-hour power turbine governor TBO. This is a case-by-case -case approval given to certain operators as long as they agree to replace drive and spool bearings at 1,200 hours. Installation of main bearing retainer plates. Engineering has requested a review and re-emphasis on this subject to the AWARS. Honeywell is still seeing evidence of damage to bearings during installation. If care is not used, drive bearing shield damage can occur during retainer plate installation if a screwdriver tip slips from the screw slots when torquing the screws. There is an assembly fixture that should be used for the proper assembly of the retainer plate. Please review and follow service bolts in GT73367 published in January 2013, which provides instructions to make a protective fixture to protect main bearing shields during retaining plate screw torquing. The drive bearing redesign qualification continues to move forward. For Rolls-Royce, the qualification is for redesign fuel control and power turbine governor drive bearings, but not spool bearings. Honeywell's goal is to qualify for a 2,000-hour bearing. Endurance testing is now underway, and the testing includes accelerated tests with increased loads and temperatures. Realplex 6000 HT grease is being tested as a replacement for blue grease in the power turbine governor. 
This slide shows a list of the specific details of the new drive bearing configuration. You'll notice that the only difference between redesign of the fuel control bearing and the power turbine governor bearing is the grease. All other configuration changes are the same between the two. Rolls-Royce Power Turbine Governor Rear Spline Wear. This issue dates back to 2012, where epoxy had been found released from the metal contact area. This condition allowed the drive coupling spline to dither on the drive shaft, causing enough wear to decouple the control. Actions to release publications providing instructions to correct the problem have been delayed. The draft bulletins are again moving forward and were created in June of 2015 to revise the cleaning process and the amount of epoxy contact for the rear spline. They are now in final stages of approval. You can expect release before year end. The surface bulletins will have similarity to GT73381, which is for the LTS-101 governor. MEK and acetone will be the new cleaning solutions. There's a statement added about being sure to have full epoxy contact with the shaft and the rear spline. Statements are also added about post-cure inspection and allowing no movement of rear spline after load test. There will be two publications. For the Rolls-Royce 300, it is GT73384, and for the Rolls-Royce 250, it will be GT73, number yet to be determined. Shown by the shaded area to the right, be sure to clean this area thoroughly and ensure epoxy contact for the full length of the drive shaft sleeve. Rolls-Royce bypass valve inspection. Fortunately, since HOC last March, we have not had any additional reports of heavy bypass valve wear like that shown in this photograph. This can cause valve seizing resulting in failure of metering functions. During the investigation of this occurrence, Honeywell found that the Rolls-Royce CMM inspection of bypass valves was much less robust than the CMM inspections found in Pratt & Whitney and LTS-101 CMM. This finding resulted in action to update all Rolls-Royce CMMs to include dimensional inspection limits for bypass valves. The first temporary revision CMM 7320-12 TR7321 has been published. You should expect an additional seven TRs to be released by the end of October. Thank you for your attention today. This concludes Honeywell's Rolls-Royce Fuel Control Technical Presentation. As always, for technical advice and product support, please contact your 24-hour aerospace technical support team. You can expect an immediate response, problem solving, and efficient path to escalation when needed. Thank you.